Welcome to another Electronics on the Floor, where I'll do part three of AGC, but this time adding an S meter. The idea came from viewer Dazrid. If you've already built the audio AGC, the only two extra parts you need are a moving coil meter, possibly salvaged from an old radio, and some resistors. You'll only need one resistor, but you need several to try and see which value works best for your meter. Get a 1.5 volt battery and your meter movement. Then have a look through the resistors, identifying ones that are between about 1K and 10K. You'll notice those because they'll have a red band as the third band on the resistor body. Unless they're 1% resistors, in which case they may have five bands and are often a bit harder to read. This is with the battery connected reverse across the meter. Flip it around and get a forward reading. The optimum resistor value for this application is where the meter needle deflects about half to two thirds maximum on the scale with a 1.5 volt battery. While we're still playing with batteries, resistors and meters, there's another trick that I want to point out. Particularly useful if you wish to build a circuit that specifies a particular meter. Meters are usually specified in milliamps, full scale deflection. Or, for sensitive meters, microamps. That means that for a 1 milliamp meter, 1 milliamp flowing through the meter pins the needle up to the 100%. More current will make it go off the scale, and less current will make it move less. Just for simplicity's sake, we've got a circuit with a 1 volt power source, a 10k resistor, and a meter of unknown current. Ohm's law comes to the rescue. In this case, the voltage is known, or E, the resistance is known, but the current is not. Therefore, put our finger on the I, and the current equals E divided by R. We've got 10,000 ohms, 1 volt, therefore the current is 1 ten thousandth of an amp, i.e. 100 microamps. The full scale deflection of the meter is 100 microamps, which is quite sensitive. What if you didn't have the right resistor value to give you full scale deflection? That doesn't matter, as you can estimate it. For instance, if our 10k resistor gave only half scale deflection, then that means that the meter isn't as sensitive as the first example. If we estimate that 10k in series gives you half scale deflection, then 5k in series must give full scale deflection because the current is doubled. Then you proceed to do the calculations on that basis. In this case, 1 divided by 5000 is 200 microamp full scale deflection. It's the same in reverse. If the resistor you choose is pins the meter movement, then choose a higher value resistor. In blue is part of the original AGC circuit. Please see the previous video for details. The meter and series resistor is simply added across the LED. We'll put the meter on a receiver, in this case the Bitex kit from India, and see how it works in practice.
I should point out that the S meter doesn't perform as well as one in a commercially made HF transceiver. Intermediate signals, for instance, seem to indicate either too strong or too weak. There isn't much gradations in between. Nevertheless, it looks good. And if you've got a homebrew receiver with some spare panel space and a few spare unused meters, then a project like this is great to put them to good use.